back to Prime News on HLN. This story's just heartbreaking. Uh, Eight-year-old Sandra Cantu, again, found dead, found in a suitcase. And we know the 28-year-old Melissa Huckabee is, is accused here. There, there's Melissa Huckabee. And what, there's so many baffling at so many levels when you consider that Melissa Huckabee, Sunday school teacher, uh, Melissa Huckabee's five-year-old daughter was a playmate of Sandra Cantu's. And now this, and now new charges could be coming as uh, rape and molestation charges. Uh, could be coming in this case. Again, we're joined by Pat Brown, criminal profiler Don Clark, former FBI special agent in charge, and also with us, Jennifer Wadsworth, Tracy Press. Uh, Jennifer, you spoke with uh, Melissa Huckabee just hours of Friday, right? Just hours before her arrest. W right. What made you call in the first place? I was trying to find out who owned this piece of black luggage that Sandra's body was found in. I was calling um, residents in the mobile home park. I had been all week. And when her name came up, um, I just, it was just another person I wanted to call. Okay, so you called, what, did she start just telling the story? Hey, that's my luggage? Where'd the conversation go? <clears throat> yeah, uh, the first thing she told me was that she actually did want to talk to me. Uh, but being the local paper, she said she'd, she'd go ahead and clear things up because there were a lot of rumors going around. So she said that, yeah, it's my suitcase. I don't want people to think it's my grandpa's, it's my suitcase. And I reported, and she said she had told police that it was stolen the very same hour that Sandra was last seen alive. Okay, how did she sound? Was she nervous? Was she, she did you, were you suspicious at all as you talked to her? Uh, no, I was just sort of intrigued that she, I had found someone who would claim ownership of the su suitcase. Uh, she sounded calm, she sounded intelligent, she sounded articulate, uh, The and she really just sounded matter of fact. I had no, out of that conversation, I had no reason to suspect that she would uh, be accused of these things. Okay, and how long did you talk to her? I talked to her for 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Uh, Jennifer, yeah. hang tight. I want to bring in Pat Brown, our criminal profiler. Okay, Pat, uh, again, innocent until proven guilty. But if uh, it is Melissa Huckabee here, is that normal for someone who could be the perp here to talk for 40 minutes to a reporter like that? Well, if she is a psychopath, yes, because she thinks she's going to clear up things, as the reporter said, that she's going to be able to convince somebody. And she thinks she's going to have the upper hand. And let me say what's very interesting about this suitcase if she did know it was missing the day that Sandra went missing and didn't say anything to the police in all those days, that's extraordinarily suspicious. When I heard about this last Friday, I thought she had already filed a police report on the very day, in which case it probably would not have been her because she wouldn't have wanted to right. bring attention to herself. But to wait all those days and then suddenly when it comes up, she thinks, well, I better better do something about this story so now i'll say something yeah that would be a big red flag right and that's what uh, police obviously the contradictions uh jennifer do you know what contradictions that she told you that she didn't tell police and how police ended up going in after melissa huckabee well of course the investigation's ongoing so police can't get into specifics but some of the inconsistencies i had heard about was that she had told me that Sandra came over to her house to ask to play with her daughter and that she had sent Sandra away. But um, uh, I had heard it reported that she had told police that Sandra came over to play with her, uh, her daughter, and she played with her daughter and then left. So, you know, just details like that. And I think one of the most suspicious things was that she flatly denied her criminal record in a published interview. And um, that, for me personally, ra raised a huge red flag, and I think that it made police gotcha. suspicious, too. Okay, uh, guys, we'll have more on this coming up. I want to hear from you, your comments, your questions. Give us a call, one eight seven seven tell hln